Guys, Deluded Goon, I'm here to talk about, um, well, you guys know how much I love Talent ID, I love Scouts, you saw me talk about Joe Shields, we're here for another one. I'm not going to say his full name, I believe his name is Pete or Piet, I'm not going to say his name, He's, um, it will be in the description, you can type in his name on Google. He's a well-renowned scout. To be honest with you, he's worked at he's worked in Holland at a number of clubs doing things like that. He 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 helped bring Ronaldo um to 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 Europe. He helped scout Romario. I got a list here: Yap Stam, Over Mars. He's I even helped scout Adriano, Farfan, Herelio Gomez, all of these sorts of players. He finds himself at Chelsea now. Yeah, man, he's he's seven years of age, and I would love to sit down and have a conversation as someone that's got ambitions to get into that sort of field. If things were were a certain way, I. The way he's he's got an eye for talent, and you you could learn so much stuff, man. Like seven years of age, experience you can't buy, man. Present day, like I've already said before, I started waffling and singing his praises. He's at Chelsea. He's somewhat. He's not an advisor to to Roman Abramovich, but he's someone Roman trusts from his initial days in investing in this club. Um, well, in this club, I mean Chelsea. Um, by his own admission, Roman said he didn't know much about football or youth football, but together with his help, he's helped. Um. He's helped his not bring up his knowledge and his first for youth players. And when you consider when he first came, I'm pretty sure Chelsea's academy weren't doing bits to how they are now. It's like, along with him and several others, that's the, that's the thing. It's not only that this guy's advised. This guy was he played a part in Scolari losing his job. He commented to Roman Abramovich how the training sessions aren't inten aren't that intense. I think he either had a bust up with Frank Arneson or helped recruit him into Chelsea, something like that. I, I can't remember, guys. But yeah, man. He also famously asked Chelsea to sign Musa Dembele, the, the guy that's at Spurs now. He said that he he can do a lot. And you, I don't need to talk, say exactly what he said about Dembele. You guys know how decent Dembele is. He scouted him. He said he's been watching him for a while, he, um, since 05 or something like that, I think. He also helped bring Rob into the club, Mikel to the club, Solomon Kalou to the club, Kevin De Bruyne, in which he classically told Chelsea he'd be worth it a tenfold to what you initially in, in, invest in him the same way he said it about Courtois and he's been right about both of them he also said Lukaku should have been given more of a chance and things like that as well he's also been very critical on Jose Mourinho to a degree in regards to Eden Hazard and it's something you guys have heard me say and I've got it to quote here Eden is a player with brilliant actions but will never be a machine he wants to relax you should never make him carry the team just tell him to enjoy himself um, and then, yeah, that's obviously in regards to Jose saying that Hazard is of the level or level just behind um, Messi and Ronaldo. And we know to get to that level, you have to be a killer. Goals and assists, you have to smell blood and want that. Hazard isn't that. He's 26, 27 years of age. It could always happen for him and I want it to happen because I, I love the guy. But if you're not a killer now, you're never going to be a killer. And what concerns me, or doesn't concern me because he's, he's in Hazard. He doesn't have to be anyone um, he doesn't want to be and he doesn't have to do anything he doesn't want to be. But when he says I'm happy to assist or I I'm, I enjoy football, it's somewhat he enjoys football. Like he enjoys football a lot. Like from from you when you enjoy football like that and you're just happy, you're not going to be as 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 how do I put it? As decisive. That's not even the right word. But as decisive as someone like Cristiano Ronaldo, who on top of loving football is somewhat driven by poverty, by pain in Portugal. Like he didn't have a lot of prospects. He didn't come from the richest of families. He didn't have much in um. Uh, much in Portugal and he was he was always in trouble at school so it was almost football football is his way out in the sense that Hazard he's come from a sporting family all of his family his mum and dad played football his brothers played football it's just it's a hobby obviously it's an occupation for both but you get and they both had to strive to get to that level but that shows you why to be honest someone that comes from inner city London from me like me isn't going um is going to have more drive than someone from I don't know Eton or, 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 or Kensington or something if it came to something because we have different life experiences we have different life choices ultimately we're at risk of having different life um, outcomes and we are part of two different worlds so hopefully that makes sense um yeah we're going into too much about hazard now to be honest with you yeah man he's he's someone you can't you can't buy you, you can't buy the experience he was also critical of jose Mourinho or kevin de bruyne he said kevin de bruyne was ready kevin de bruyne himself said he was ready but jose we all know said he didn't train hard enough or, or whatever, whatever he whatever he said and and it and it didn't happen and since then he's got he's gone forward man he said he's been watching this guy since Kevin De Bruyne since 16 or, or even younger, if I remember rightly. And he said he was amazing then. Obviously, he's amazing. He's amazing now. Like, oh, man. He also said that, don't get me wrong, scouts in the, in this day and age, they want everything to be about them. And the, the, this guy's book and everything he says it is somewhat like that um, to a degree. But he also said Lukaku should have been playing. 
um, but Jose said he wasn't ready. So, and we know how that how that went. In short, the man helped lay the foundations to Chelsea. He's, a, he's an extreme scout. It's not just Chelsea. He's done things in Holland. He's done things at several clubs. He's someone that, like I said, I'd love to have a conversation a conversation with him. He's, he's, he's quality. He knew about. He's also even gone into favelas in Brazil, and he leaves no no um, stone unturned or whatever the saying is. He knew about Oscar since he was fifteen. Obviously, Oscar's in China now, but he's gone on to have a career. He's known. He found David Luiz in some floating around in second divisions in Brazil or whatever, and he told people this guy would be decent. And he's won Premier League. He's won Champions League. Was he wrong? It's like he clearly wasn't. He's playing in the third di um, division. The same goes for how he found Ramirez. Ultimately, you can't buy this eye for talent. And the older he's got, clearly he's got a bit. He's got a better eye for talent. At seven years of age, he's got a lot of life experience, and that's something at that age. If I'm lucky enough to live that long, I hope to be able to look back. How I looked at football at sixteen isn't how I look at it now at tw in my twenties. How I look at it now in my twenties might not be the same as in the thirties. Well, in fact, it, my philosophy's been the same, but my eye for talent and my critique has got better and it's only going to get better and that's what it's about to be honest and like I said I'm someone that loves talent ID youth players developing and all that stuff I know I'm an Arsenal fan and I'm an Arsenal Wenger fan so that's why but yeah man I'm waffling and there's not really any much more to say on that man I just thought let me hail up the scouts man because we never really hear about these guys stories or the people behind the scenes man I mean we all know Lukaku was fairly well known at that age and Kevin De Bruyne might not have been but there must have been scouts watching him and scouts watching Courtois but would they be at the club if it wasn't for guys like this that rubber stamp the Kevin De Bruyne's and the Lukaku's and the Courtois and, and, and et cetera, et cetera. Yep, Stam as well and all of these guys. We never hear from them. It's always a master stroke of the manager and things like that. But people don't understand there's a lengthy process when it comes to signing players, scouting players. There's a lot of politics, a lot of, a lot of office politics in regards to signing players, especially when there's multiple people in the boardroom. So, yeah, guys, Deluded Guna, I'm signing out. There's not much more to... Um, be said on that front uh, forgive me if i've waffled if you don't like what you've heard or, or you've, if you haven't taken anything away from it but i hope you have dg i'm out the best youtuber ever thank you subscribe like up the ting